The clash of curling elite continues in Calgary. On day one, Canada jumped out of the blocks, picking up points in eight of nine games. It's for the tie and a split points. Oh, are you kidding me? And Team Canada leads Europe 7-2. Friday brings with it some intriguing matchups this morning. In team competition, we'll see a rematch of the 2014 Winter Olympic gold medal final. Margareta Sigfordson will battle Jennifer Jones. Draw four is next. It's a chilly morning here in Calgary, as it is in much of the country. Minus 21, wind chill at minus 30. But they are saying it's going to get milder tomorrow and on Sunday. Here's what's ahead. Day two of the Continental Cup from Canada Olympic Park. We'll have teams games this morning, tonight. And we'll sandwich in the really fun singles at 3.30 Eastern time. Yesterday, great start for the Canadians as they took seven of the nine points available in the race, the 30.5. And on this Friday morning, we say hello, Canada. Welcome back to our continuing coverage. Cheryl and uh, Russ alongside. Not a very good start for the Europeans, and they really do today have to get it going. You can't let the Canadians get away. And it starts with Sigfridsson against Jones. Margareta has so many silvers. There seems to be at times something missing from her game. What is it? Yeah, they're a little one-dimensional. It's hard to argue. There's a lot of success, but uh, you have to have all the arsenal. They're not playing any soft shots at all. No better example than in the mixed doubles game yesterday. A chance to tap either one of those red one back, soft weight, just like T-line weight, give it to your brushers, you make it for fun. She tries a big weight, not even normal weight, big weight hit and roll here. You have to be so precise, especially with this type of surface with the big curl. That's not the type of shot that's going to get it done, not even close here, but six inches wide. You have no chance against a team like Jones if you're going to play hits. So it's a rematch of the Sochi final. Jones winning that, of course. I'm wondering if uh, Coach Rick Lang of Canada is doing this for a reason. Most definitely. We all know Jones is the most well-rounded team out there. They can make the soft shots. They can make the high, hard ones. And I think that Jones, we all know how much she loves rocks and play. And I think that style of play will push Siegfriedson out of her comfort zone. So that's our... First game on this second day, Jones against Margareta Sigurdsson in Sochi, revisited this time in Calgary. We're just so excited to be part of a big team concept. The Continental Cup is a special event, but this year it's even more special in that it's Team Canada taking on the world, and we take so much pride in curling in Canada and us as competitors and the depth of talent that we have in Canada. It's a different dynamic for sure from what we're used to, to be a part of a bigger team and part of Team Canada. We're looking forward to the opportunity to cheer each other on. The 2015 World Financial Group Continental Cup of Curling is brought to you by World Financial Group, helping Canadians have better financial futures. The 2015 World Financial Group Continental Cup of Curling is brought to you by M&M Meat Shops. Frozen food at its best by Home Hardware. Homeowners helping homeowners with expert advice. And by Cashmere Bathroom Tissue. Nothing feels like cashmere. There are two other games on the ice in team's play. and. Uh... Thomas Olsrud coming off a loss to John Morris will play Mike McEwen out of Winnipeg who beat David Murdoch. Eve Muirhead out of Scotland. She tied Jennifer Jones in her only game so far and Val Sweeting trying to bounce back after a loss to Anna Sidorova of Moscow. It's time to meet the teams in our featured game and it's all brought to you by Home Hardware homeowners helping homeowners with expert advice. They are from the Sheleftia Curling Club in Sweden, and they are skipped by Margareta Sigfridsson, who throws the lead stones, joined by Maria Venerstrom, who is back and healthy after missing yesterday, Christina Bertrup, and Maria Pritz, who throws the fourth stone, silver medalist in Sochi. From the St. Vital Curling Club in Winnipeg, skipped by now 40-year-old Jennifer Jones, gold medal winners with Don McHugh and Jill Officer and Caitlin Laws. Europe will play Yellowstones 
Canada will play red, and the Europeans won the draw to the button. So they will have the last rock. They'll have the hammer here in the first. Jennifer Jones is out, has found her place just outside the edge of the eight. And to get us underway, the Jones and Canadian lead is Don McHugh. Probably the best I'm lead in the world. Uh, just so consistent. It's almost it's almost a waste of time. You just put one, two, three feet short of the rings, watch the next one go around dead buried. Don's been so consistent for so many years. What does that mean? I, you're right. I agree with you wholeheartedly that I think from a from a purely Good Don. free yes. guard zone stone, that's the kind of thing she can do automatically, you know it seems. So what does that mean to you, Cheryl, as the skip? You know, How good it, is that for you? It dictates. You start the end with a strategy in mind. You know what you want. And if the sh first two shots of the end aren't placed where you expect them to be, your strategy goes out the window and you have to rethink it all. And so it makes it really easy for the skip. To that point, the strategy for Jones, you just know, is rocks and play against this particular team. We, we talked about it in the opening. Maria likes to play the big weight shot. She's good at it. They win a lot of games. Yes, they can draw too, but they default to that hit. And jo I think Jones, especially with Don's ability, are going to put as many rocks and plays as they can and take that shot away from them. A little pressure. Yeah, I threw in this spot and it wasn't bad in practice. So goes a little deep with her first. Ability to get around and get that inside flip still back of the tee line, but two nice shots to start for Don McEwen. Let's take a look at the game plan for Jennifer Jones, please. Well, we talked about junking it up. That's what Jennifer will do against almost all the teams, but I think it's really effective against Margareta. Uh, she has to. I, they didn't look confident last night, though, so I think remember how you get it done is what we're saying because they have to have some pretty good memories. The gold medalist here. They did not look like gold medals last night, so they just have to look in the mirror and say, hey, we're the best team out here, let's prove it. And the last time we saw her at the uh, Canada Cup, she didn't look confident there either, so. And the missed shot. So Margaret Sigfordson off to a slow start. Your thoughts on what she has to do? Well, I think she has to simplify it for sure because of what we've talked about. They've got two choices here. They either learn to make some draw shots or hit their way through this entire game and see if they can get a few breaks by keeping it simple. That, that did not work last night for them. The game plan brought to you by World Financial Group, helping Canadians have better financial future. Well, three really nice shots to start as we say good morning to uh, Kathy Gilchrey. Hi, Vic. I talked to both of the captains overnight, and for Team Canada, they all met with Randy Furby last night. They're not interested in splitting any points with Team Europe, but it's a different philosophy. They talked about how to play the seventh end, how to be aggressive. It is no good to be one up coming home without. You lose control, and next thing you know, the team from Europe is scoring the tie. In a normal game, you play on to the extra end, but without that, it really has been a rethink for the Team Canada teams for today. And for Paya Lindholm and his team, they really talked about the ice. In Europe, it is very, very straight, and where they got caught yesterday is that big swoop with the draw and made the assumption ice would move with the hits. It does not, and so you'll see tighter ice today, more confidence probably from these teams. Often what we see at the Briar, what you talk about all the time, Russ, the Eastern teams take a while, but when they go, they go yeah that is a point uh, Russ uh, the fact that if you ha don't play on it all the time uh, it does take you a, a day figured out the unfortunate part here for Europe is there only are four days it's not like a briar or Scott Trimmer right, 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 right. or the yeah, world yeah, where you have the yeah. whole entire week Luckily. and you can sneak through with one bad day that, that's it's difficult to come back here yes there's a lot of points Sunday so that that's the silver lining here but I thought Kathy made a good point. When, when you like see it. the mass of curl with draw weight, you just assume a normal weight hit's going to curl. And these blue hone inserts don't. The harder you throw them, the straighter they go, obviously. But anything over like a maybe a control weight or a heavy board weight, there's very little movement at all. And it really fools you. 
Randy Furby. Yep. Yep. The six-time Canadian six champion is the, uh, yeah. the captain of this Canadian team, six along with Coach Rick Lang. On these team, these European teams have spent many hours playing in Canada just so that they can get used to this type of ice that we have here and the curl. So that's one of the advantages for them coming over here is to get used to the ice surface. Straight back tap here, I think. Cheryl? Yeah, that's what she's playing. Maybe a little high side. Maria Vennerstrom. Very lovely nice. to the top of the four foot. Where is that? Top four. Okay. That's the type of stuff that have to play, play to that. beat a team like Jones. I don't mind that. Okay, for. Are we trying to court well, you know she'll put the pressure on you, and she, if, she, if Jones gets there first, then you're always chasing. Mm -hmm. Whereas I think the reverse, the Europeans need to think the other way. They need to get there first. Sigfordson in Europe do have the last drop. They have the hammer here in the first playing yellow stones. And through and misses it. Oh, that was hard to do. <laughs> well. Wouldn't think that was possible. No kidding. Not to even get the yellow at the back. That's the best that was. Indeed. It just caught a little bit on that center line. It just right, never right, came off at that weight. Right. Yeah, you talked about that yesterday. It just runs a fraction so straighter until it crosses. Christina Bertrup. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you'll see this a lot. The silver medals that this team has won. They have one gold that uh, came with in a European championship back in 2013. And there's a lot of experience on this team when you, you think about Bertrup having been a part of the Elizabeth Gustafsson team. She was at the Olympics as an alternate back in uh, 2002 in Salt Lake. Margareta has been with a couple of people, including Annette Norberg. So you have a team here, really, which was expected to be the heir apparent to the likes of Gustafsson and Norberg, yet they haven't broken through and won those big medals. Yeah, no disrespect to the European medal, but they haven't won a world championship, and they've yet to win the uh, gold at the Olympics. Uh, and, and I think it's what Russ said in the opening, is they're just not well-rounded enough compared to a team like Jones. They, they don't play those down shots and get those extra rolls, and that's what you need to do to be at the top of this game. They've won 77% of their games so far this year, which is the highest of any women's team here. But you're right, they, that elite team, like a Jones, they can force that weakness out of you. Caitlin came up a little bit short on that come around draw, but it's still a usable rock up there. That's the difference between a good team and a great team, in my opinion, is missing the right way. That's a, You just said the key word, usable rock. That goes two feet deeper. It's a waste of time. <laughs> I, I have nightmares remembering the coaches drilling that into us. You cannot use it behind the tee line. Yeah, you got to be really good to bring it backwards. <laughs> Fritz Benerstrom on this brush and gets the rub off the guard and spills in. Okay, sits back edge of the eight. Shot stone is still Europe and Sigurdsson. T line four foot. I like that call opening up the front for Sigurdsson. She knows that was the trouble rock. That's what Jones is going around. Are going to be tapping behind here. 
not really any good. If we free, I guess if we get right to the, we get right to there. Yeah, stay on the center line side so she can't do that. I don't know what else to do. I can't. Sweet space. I don't know that it'll like those draw paths. Interesting situation here. Jennifer uh, drops one on the corner here. Like that, she's okay. But if it's out a little farther, if it's accessible in that area, there's a really simple double here. And this one goes, this one goes, and you might even have your yellow one come over and kick that one out a little bit. A lot of yellow in play here. Hair left. Jennifer's got to be really good with the angle here. Skip Stones and uh, Jennifer Jones with her first number one this year on the, uh, the tour in terms of money won. Nearly $73,000. Won four of the eight events that she played in. McEwen, officer. Just bump it back if they can. They do. They've got it surrounded. Lots of uh, red in there. One lonely okay, yellow, but it's the shot rock. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, this is an interesting situation here, Rick. I think if, you, if you'd make that red double and stay there, there'd be a yellow-yellow combo to get that lonely red one. Jennifer would have a big decision to make. That's what they're going to try, I think, Cheryl. Yeah, I agree. They're playing the double and try and spring off there a bit. And this is the type of shot Maria is very good at. Big weight. I think that they didn't throw so much in the last year. They did a little bit. Just a thick half here and stick it. Stick it right on the corner where that red one is now, but hopefully isn't for her. First update, Kathy. We'll check in on uh, Eve Muirhead and Val yes! Sweeting. Uh, Sweeting yes! coming off a disappointing game to uh, oh! Sidorova. Well, Val made two really good shots oh, this end, so that's got to make her feel good, Vic. She drew on the first. Eve tried to freeze, and there was a bit of space, and Val made a really nice pick. Eve is trying to blank. She cannot see a whole lot of this yes! rock. The Sochi bronze medalist. Nicely and done. catches a corner, and there's the blank on the board. Your head, Sweeting. We're first, we're second, and then I don't know. Your head tied Jennifer Jones in their game, their team game, to split the one point available. All these games okay, are worth for, one point. For everybody, the four foot. Okay. 60 points line, in total like the bottom, for all line. the games okay. throughout the, uh, the competition. Yeah, nice. So it's the race to 30.5. Great end by uh, Sigurdsson here. Yeah, I think Jones is just going to try and draw mm -hmm. in four foot. Tough shot too. You got to you got to make this thing. Could go to the back one maybe, but uh, there is an angle tap there for multiple points. Time's good. Room, guys. We're there. Four okay, foot for sure. Foot. Room off. We can wait. Right now. Right now. Looks like T right now. Okay, well, then. Yeah, not we're curling. Be... We're to the what? yellow even. To no, the yellow. No, 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 no. No, then no. Let it work. No, no. Officer and no, no, McEwen no. Just, just marching just this down. And on sheet B, Thomas Ulsrud, Mike McEwen, they blank the first. McEwen will take the last rock to two. Okay. Wow. A lot of arrows, Vic, but I think it's there. I think if you run that yellow a little off center really hard, like peel weight, both reds, the top two reds, this red and this one here, they go for sure. Whether they can get the third one, they need a lot of speed because this yellow rock right there that one has to be you're only going to hit it really thin so can you drag it far enough to get that back red i think it's there i think you can score as many as four here 
No, I think it's there. If she has the weight, she's going to have to throw some good weight but, at it. Well, and this she, is her strength, right? This is what we said. She doesn't necessarily ah! like the soft game. So if there's a strength for Maria Pritz, hey, hey! it's right here. But it's all on its own. Bang, bang. And where they sit? Look at the Oh, that a shot. And you can count them up. One, two, three, four, five. Just like you scratched it out. <laughs> and when they all settle, it looks really good for Sigfridsen. Well, to be perfectly honest, there aren't many times we've picked a key shot in the first end, but this certainly was. And the key player to throw, we talked about Maria playing maybe one dimensional because she loves to hit. Well, we now know why. A nice double on the first one and queued up her first one in a really good spot. Jennifer ended up in a bad spot, made her pay. I thought it was a chance for four, but she actually makes it for five. What a brilliant shot. So a wonderful start on a day when Team Europe really needs to get going and one away. Or Sigfordson against Jennifer Jones, five on the board in the first. Jennifer Jones will have the last rock. She'll have the hammer trying to chip away at this now as here in the uh, second. But this immediately turns this game around because you know that Jennifer Jones has to do things to try and generate points and it sort of plays into, doesn't it, some of the strength of Sigurdsson. Yeah, and you know, the issue for Jones is two things. She's now down five points, but she's also allowing Sigurdsson to play to their strength, which is that hitting game. and. It's a short game. You've only got seven ends now. It's an eight end game, and that makes it tough. So rather than put up the second corner, they're going to go behind the one they just thrown. I like it in this case because you know what Sigrid's up to. Part of your strategy as a skip is getting inside the other skip's head. What do they want to do? They want to obliterate red. They want to get everything out of there. So. By making this shot, there. If this is lined up, which okay. it will be, because Don's it, always perfect. If Sigurdsson runs it back, makes the red double, the yellow one stays in play. If there's two corner guards and they're angled a bit, you can get rid of everything. I also like it, uh, Cheryl, because to make that come around. In this case, Don Askin, Don McEwen, I should say. It just played the same shot. She just throws a little harder. She knows that path. She just throws a little, you just take a hair more ice, a little more weight. What? It's it's a pretty simple shot. What? My only question would be down five points, throwing the two corners, you get a little more opportunity, spread them out, make them even, make them a little tougher for Siegfriedson to play a double peel on. Exactly. You're down a lot of points. It's not like you're down two. You'd love to get three here, wouldn't you? Jill officer there was some thought about coming down and playing to the back stone which is at the back of the eight and they've elected to go for the guard here yeah yep. Yep. there's yep. two trains yep. of thought on that you can yep. a lot of teams will play down but the freeze is such a tough shot I think with being down five points the corner guard is the automatic Really important that Don stayed when she played to come around to stay second shot too. Otherwise, you'd have to get eliminate both yellow to score that point there. Maria Vennerstrom. It must be frustrating. Do you as a as a skip, Cheryl, kick yourself if you're Jennifer Jones for getting yourself into that situation? Well, 
hindsight is always 2020. But I, I think it was interesting. We talked about it in the break that where she placed her last rock really gave them that out. They, she could have come down and froze on that back uh, yes. four-foot rock there and wouldn't have given them that shot. Jennifer doesn't, doesn't typically miss that very often. No, no but, you know, first end down the middle where they haven't thrown any rocks, it's, it's, it's a, a, a big ask to get her to throw a perfect freeze. And I think Vic's right. It, uh, they, they were extremely aggressive. They didn't play a bad end, but uh, when you don't eliminate any opponent's rocks and you don't have last rock advantage, it's, it can be dangerous. Boy, is that, that's a big shadow cast by that five over her sh the shoulder. <laughs> I've watched Jen's team over the years, though, at events, even first game at events, and they always go hard, but I've seen them more often than not score multiple points against the other team just because they do that. Yeah, we talk about it all the time, and you're, you're covering the Scott Tournament Hearts. So that first end is nearly a blank every single game and my theory is if, if all these teams want a blank then you should be aggressive and that's what jennifer does obviously didn't work this time jennifer gave up a three in the uh, scott final two or rachel one year or two in the first half. Rolls across, crawls off the top, and sits for second shot. So Sigfridson sitting the two without last rock here Try in the to second. Tap that back. Yeah, yeah. Like that. Same kind of weight. Okay. This is where some teams get into a little bit of trouble with a lead like this. Is they don't get rid of the rocks. They're keeping rocks in play, which absolutely that's all Jones wants is rocks in play. Caitlin Laws made the nice freeze to the uh, stone at the back of the 12 with her first. Back 12. Back line. No. Never. Back line. Back line. Back line. Needs to hit something here. Comes up just enough to uh, touch and then roll off. Still sits a couple. The Sigfordson team out of Sheleftia. Pretty simple double here. I don't think there's a port to go through there, so if you could ever shave that your own yellow really thin, you get get all the reds. As soon as you can hit that thing. Okay. Angle raise the yellow over, and uh, then the shooter gets the other stone. Yeah, exactly. A bit of danger if you're ever narrow and you just peel out your own yellow. You might leave both reds in place. You could just hit the open red and kick in towards the center line. It's, it's all a confidence factor, this sport. It's, you know, if you think you can make this thin one, that's the call. But you, you don't want to miss it narrow. Yeah, it's what you can kind of see. Maria Fritz. Mertrup picks it up all the way down. And she'll get everything moving. And gets rid of one of the Jones stones. Just a little protective there. They waited a hair too long to call the brushing. Yeah, they didn't want to maybe see a hole there. <laughs> right. <laughs> Two second shot. That's important. This could be a wide open hit for two here. It looked like yellow to me, but. Yes. Yeah, it looks close. I think it's them by like a little bit. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm going to try to hit and roll over there. Let's go. Well, after the blank in one, we've got uh, lots going on here. Mike McEwen, Canada with the last rock, and sitting the one at the back. 
of the button, Kathy. Well, they've looked at the top of the button in the back to see whether this is a draw for two or three. Really bad break for Thomas Allsrud on his first. He picked and the rock almost came to a dead halt. And that really allowed advantage McEwen. Shot. Wonderful. That's the way he's played the entire season. Magic Mike. He's up 2 nothing. Brilliant roll. So he, she has some backing now. Nice roll. Nice roll. How do you possibly take, let's assume yellow is second shot. How do you get this red one out and sit two? Yeah, and I think this is a scoreboard call. I think you get the open one. Yeah, for sure. Trying to peel it really thin, but it's, it's not aiming at a lot of granite. Well, and the only thought with the peel is that then she has to move the yellow. Yes. That's yeah. They never even looked at the open one, did they? No. no. Final stone hey. for no. Maria Pritz. Hey. Okay. And can't hey, hold Maria. the shooter. I'm well, surprised they didn't brush that once they knew they had contact. You could uh, try to make that thin double. Great shot by Jennifer, though, to clear that back rock and roll perfect. This should run, hey? Yeah, yeah I think so too. That was probably nine and a half. Yeah, solid ten. That's the one thing you see with this team. They don't panic. Even down five, they know you just keep fighting back, getting your deuce, getting a force. Oh, it's the old adage. Two for us, one for you. Yeah. <laughs> Two for us, one for you. Final stone. Yep. Big Strump, though, needs to hold a line here. Officer McEwen, two of the best. And right on the money. So a nice rebound second for Jones. Gave up five in the first. Gets a couple here. Well, let's just go back a year ago. Las Vegas in the 14 Continental Cup. And Jennifer Jones leading 2-0 in the third. And... This is an example of why Maria Fritz prefers to hit rather than draw. Facing three, tries to tap a shot stone off the foot and then just touches it and goes through. Jones took a 5 nothing lead. Very next end, same scenario. Maria Fritz facing three again, tries to draw the button and heavy. Steal three more. Fall behind 8 nothing as Jennifer Jones goes on to win it 9 to 3 a year ago in Las Vegas and of course uh, it was so interesting that so many of the Olympic teams came to Las Vegas to use and benefit from the experience of playing on the arena ice and then a couple of weeks later they would meet in Sochi in the final and Jennifer Jones of course would win the gold medal over Margareta Sigfridsson as we welcome you back to Calgary and the Mark and McPhail center part of this wonderful Canada Olympic Park. Jones gets it's, two, it's, it's, it's and it's now a 5-2 game. Sigfrid's in leading, and she will have the last rock. Has the hammer here in three, playing the Yellowstones. Not a very good start for Margareta. Loops one to the back of the 12 foot there, which is uh, of no value for their team. Gives Jennifer a chance to get two in the right spots, uh, courtesy of Dawn again. But the, remember, she her first two stones in the first one, they got five, weren't good. She was heavy with her first, and I think she whipped off a, a guard with her second. That's true. I mean, it wasn't well, too long ago. How could you forget that? Open wing at an age. There's three sheets out here, man. <laughs> wow. I was thinking on her first one that she's always so close. <laughs> Hogline violation there. Wow. 
So that's that's not a great start. Wow. And you saw her, Margaret try to pull back there. She's pulling back because she knows she's heavy. She was heavy on the first one, and that's too much leg kick. And so many players cannot seem to adjust that leg kick on this beautiful surface. Arena conditions, it's like sliding on ball bearings. The ice is harder than at a curling club. So if you practice a lot of the right, curling club, you're going to have trouble slowing that slide down. Go, oh, and it, and we were always taught go. to come out, like, especially gotta on this go, ice surface, go, too go, slow and then add a little yeah. bit rather than trying to pull off because there's just no judge. Okay. Okay. <laughs> You really do get the feeling, uh, you know, the Jones team's making a lot of shots here that uh, this thing's not over. No, and, well, you know, when we talk about the style of play from a lot of the European teams tend to lead towards the hip, yeah. but in defense, in their defense, it's a lot because of the ice that they play on in Europe. They don't get surface like this that you can play yeah. these kind of draws and, and soft weight shots. Den här, ja, ja men ganska tight. Tänker som inte spelar på något som inte finns, det tycker jag är jävligt. Jag tror att du kan se nog av det att få båda dem. Kanske. 80! Ja! Ja! Maria Wennerström. Hårt! Eight! Eight! And she'll get the top one. Där kommer det. Vart du också attackerar? Eve Muirhead, Val Sweeting, Kathy, they blank the first, and uh, Sweeting appears to be sitting the, the two top and back four. Well, she is. This whole end really has been piling on stones in the back of the forefoot, so that Eve had to make a big weight shot on her first one to give her an opportunity to get to the four. Did leave Canada line one, and Val made the opportunity to go around to lie two. This is a tough draw, but tougher made by how much it curls in this path. Vicki Adams, Sarah Reed on the brush. Anna Sloan is calling line. And rub, and look at that. It just spun back enough to get the single point. We, we just saw on our sheet a hard rock by the Jones team, which is surprising. It's still early enough in the game that you can get some pass that haven't been played yes. down and maybe catches you if you've been in the faster track. Speed look close on the side, not quite yet. That's just. Um, I think it's close. And listen, I mean, yeah. it can happen to anybody, but what would be the reason for that, do you think, for Jill? For the hot drop? Yeah. I, I probably a track or you know a lack of focus. I think you're throwing in some faster tracks already in the previous end, yet. and you might get to a spot that just hasn't had any rocks down in it. She's trying to guard a guard too, which you, so you, you're trying to be really high, like you're throwing a one just over the hog line, or you throw a deep two, there would have been a double opportunity. So she's just trying to be a little too fine. it off the forefoot but might just stop, let a flash. could stop the outturn path uh, for a draw but yeah that was close wasn't it it's gonna be an interesting uh, situation when you get to Jennifer's first one here because uh, the rock they're guarding probably won't win the end yep 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 more than the other one yep yep okay whoa 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 easy 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 good Good, Caitlin. There you go. Nice. There you go. It's probably <laughs> high enough, that so rock in the eight foot. They use it as a guard. Mm -hmm. And then you're, again, pushing secrets into the game that maybe she's not quite as strong at. 
Så jag är lite spin, tar 28. But you're... Yeah. I understand. But you're down to your third stones now. When does... Sigvis and maybe use those stones and say, all right, you've guarded it. I'm going to try to go behind. Well, I think with the score, she won't. She, she won't at all. No, okay. I, I, I think just the score dictates not to. But also her style, Becky, that's a good point you bring up. Uh, Jennifer with a three-point lead might play the come around because that is more her favorite style of play. And you, you know, she puts the pedal to the metal, keeps the pressure on the other team. And a lot of the Europeans don't do that. And once they get the lead, they run and hide. And there's nothing wrong with that, especially on straight ice. But on this type of surface, it's hard to keep that lead. Cheryl, you'll realize that sometimes I have good points. Okay? You have <laughs> very good <laughs> points. <laughs> Every once in a while. Yeah, blind squirrel. <laughs> Skip stones here in three. Line's good. Yeah. Line's good. 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 I thought it was a little deeper than that because you have to get a little high. Eh? Not bad. Didn't cover Thank everything. A little high. It's good. I'm going to say another see just how much uh, there's a corner showing. You really could, Becky. You could throw a soft hack way to her, which I'm positive they're not going to play. <laughs> but you could play that intern come around because Jennifer's a little higher. Tap that back, roll to the corner, and sit two here. Jones would be in big trouble if you made that shot. Yeah, but I don't, they just follow us down. Right. Like if I get hit at all. Yeah. Yeah, let's go. Maria Pritz. Again, just peels off the long guard. Mike McEwen weighed a wonderful shot to get the deuce in the, the second, and again, putting all kinds of pressure on Thomas Ulsrud, Kathy. Well, he is, and this sheet is really, really moving sideways. It almost looks as though the rock picks something when it takes a right turn, and Ulsrud got caught on the first one, was a little bit light. Mike missed the front guard by about a foot, and he's about a foot on the other side of the guard, buried. It's just sideways. Needs support, but no sorry. Hold it out, hold it out, hold it out. Hold it out, hold it out. Hold it out, hold it out. Pick him up with Torger Nergord calling the line. Hey, I made a shot. Very nice. Made a shot, indeed. Here's a team, though, that we talked about yesterday. They've only played three events. They were all but going to right, yeah. retire from the game, leave the game, but so after maybe. their world championship, they've decided to play on yeah. with the help of their families, yeah, and they've like committed that. four more years trying to make a run to Korea. That's what we talked about earlier, the, the decision here. Do you tap that back set two? Do you play the come around and maybe yeah, give... I mean, a force is okay here, right? S Sweden to double the score yeah. two. You don't want to do that. So I think they're going to come right around here. I just got to make sure that we get to the inside. You want it back there. Okay. Corner guard will be in the way for a while. that no, stone top right, eight. Right Drag it all the way back, all the way right, back. Right, 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 right. Oh. And it's buried. Yeah. 
Cute. Similar uh, to what it's Kathy good. just said on uh, sheet B, a big I know, finish. I thought we were, and then... Wait, sorry, Caitlin. Girls oh, a lot good. more than... Is, and you worry a little bit when you're throwing down to a back one that you throw that okay. extra weight, and it won't finish for you, but... I'll take it here. No question there. Make it so. This will be really interesting. You know, your three-point lead, you, you, I think the draw is the call, but I think uh, Maria's eyeing up that double. Oh, dear. She loves to throw them. Yep, yeah. What would you do, Cheryl? Sure? The draw. <laughs> yeah, I mean, because of the score. Yeah. But I, I, w I think they're going to play the hit just because, you know, that's that's her favorite shot. And why not? It's the way she played those two beauties in that first end, uh, why not? We're going to criticize her when she misses, though. <laughs> well, and I think the thing that happens, too, when she gets you get the lead, mm -hmm. you're not throwing draws anymore either. Yeah, so then you, see, you right. seem to lean to the hit even more so. Well, the other thing, too, is she could she be scared with the with the amount of curl? And then, well, and the draw is not, you know, you just showed a couple highlight shots from last year. It's not her favorite. Man. Final stone, Maria yeah. Pritz. Hey. 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 Oh, I like you. All oh, on its own. Oh, oh, goodness oh. gracious. <laughs> <laughs> Maria Pritz. What a wonderful shot. Gets rid of them both. Splits them around the stone at the back. And just like that, they add two more. Who needs to draw? <laughs> Let's continue with our updates. So we saw Eat Muirhead make that really. She got a little bit lucky, I think, Kathy. I mean, the stone spun back, grabbing up the button. Chance here for Val Sweeting. Coming off, I thought, was a disappointing game for her against Sidorova of Moscow. Has a chance here to get a couple. We've lost Kathy. Final stone in three for Val Sweeting. And her team out of the Savile Community Sports Center. There's one. There's the second point. And so she's on the board. A 2-1 lead as they go to four. This is how we see it, so you can see it at home. We welcome you back. On this Friday morning, a couple of great shots by Maria Fritz. First to get the five, and then makes that uh, long double to score two more, 7-2 now. Sigfridson leading Jones, and it is Jones out of the St. Vital in Winnipeg that will have the last rock. They have the hammer playing the Redstones here in four. Yep, 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 yep. I love it, uh, Cheryl. It, it, it teach a lot of strategy clinics now, and, and I bring up the Colleen Jones theory that I'm never playing some of the shots Colleen is, but she plays them. Why? Because she's going to make them, and that's exactly what's happened here. Why not play that shot if you're that good? Beautiful double. Well, and I think one of the big things for a lot of teams is you just have your game plan, whatever it is. Yeah. Not everybody's going to agree with that game plan, but have it and follow through with it. It's a wonderful time of the year for us because from here we'll go on to Banff, the 2015 Pinty's All-Star Curling Skins game. Begins a week from today in beautiful Banff. Live coverage begins at 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific. So many of the teams representing Canada here at the Continental Cup will be there. Rachel Holman, Val Sweeting, John Morris's team, Jennifer Jones, Mike McEwen, Brad Jacobs. They'll all be participating in I'm the good. Pinty's All-Star Curling all Skins all game from yeah. the beautiful Finland's go. Banff Recreation Center beginning next week. Gotta go, gotta go. Okay, you're good. The higher the better. Good, Jill. Nice job, Julie. Good girl. 
it's interesting, Rusty and I talked about the game plan and, and have a game plan decided and follow through with it. It also depends on the players on your team. On People see shots differently. You lean towards a draw, you lean towards a hit. It's really good to have both. I, mean, I was always lucky enough to play with Sue, who was my third. She always leaned to the hit. And I lean to the draw, but it was a good balance. It's a really good balance. That's why you're so successful. You're right, because you, you can get stuck in one style, and you're not going to win at this level. Okay. Or at least be sure you've looked mm -hmm. at both options and, and made your decision. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's what you feel at that time, but it's good to know that you see both shots. Quarter guard here now. You might even yeah. see Jennifer use the two go. yellow that are staggered go right around those to the All back eight, back twelve. And go ah, they do. Go, McEwen go, and go, Laws go, go, go. sneak it around. No, the rub, the roll, right, right, right. and it will spin in to grab the top twelve. Could play the double here. It's, it is thin. It's a little bit dangerous, but down the middle, it's not really too tricky. And staying in uh, doesn't necessarily help here. Christina Bertram. Rolls to the outside, looking to roll inside and group those stones around, around the center line. Five point lead. I don't know. I'd be leaving any rocks around. Jennifer's pretty happy when they do. Yeah, I don't mind just throwing bumper. Okay, just try to move those around. Bumper. I think we want to roll this though. Yep. Bumper weight, I'm surprised. I thought they might play the type of weight that you save both. If you, if you hit this in the wrong spot, one of them's gone. Big shot here for Caitlin. You have yeah, to save both yeah. red here. Whoa! Easy! Whoa! No, never. Is it heavy? No. Nope. No, never, never. We're just taking our own out. Nope, 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 nope. And okay. the shooter will go. <laughs> and the raised rock <laughs> is pushed to the back. 12. Just too much weight? Yeah, it wasn't my favorite weight choice. I'm not sure. I, I don't think she threw much more weight than uh, they asked for. I think it was too big an ask. Yeah, I, I think she was trying to get too much out of one shot, trying to move those yellows around. Yeah. So with that weight, yeah. she needed that to move two yellow stones and then spread the red ones apart. Always throw the appropriate weight. Any lighter there, obviously, that uh, Caitlin Stone Rock would have hung around. Now, here's what you just said, Cheryl. You're going to get this? No, they did. But they made it harder on themselves. <laughs> they did. There's no real need for it. Like <laughs> <our five laughs> okay, get to the nose. You know, as difficult as, uh, as a game this is for Jones, they've had a great year. And you know, they've had a lot pulling at them and a lot of pressure oh. on them. And, and they've been playing a lot this year. Oh, I can't believe it. Uh, they went to Sweden. They were in Japan. They just won a big spiel in Japan. And back just before it. Christmas, just barely before Christmas. We're not tapping. You need to tap. 52 games this season on the trail. Uh, and you know, you on top of all that, line that's straight. out of the norm Hard is line. all the sponsors and the events because of their, the great metal team. And of course, the uh, Sochi performance was one of a kind for Jennifer Jones and the team running the table to pick up the gold medal. And that, too, of meeting all those commitments, you know, is 
you both do. The medal winners, the uh, people are tugging you. Come here, please. You have this responsibility. You have to meet this sponsor's commitment. Uh, and you try to do it all. And the, we were, you know, questioning a little bit of that in cameras a couple of weeks ago. Wondering if, in fact, she's been pulled and pushed too many places. But uh, they have uh, time now to regroup. And, of course, the... Uh, the playdowns are coming up in Manitoba, and it'll be Scotty's time again for them if we can get through. Well, and you really do want to give back to your sponsors that have got you to where you are, and so you're trying to, you know, play and, and get their name out there and do everything you can for what they've done for you. On. Pretty close to being on, but okay. Okay. I think that's our shot. Right? Yeah. I think they're thinking straight back, hit part of the red, take off that yellow on the center line. Might not be in the rings, the throwing rock. Okay. She always practice that nose hit in these situations too, because depending on the striking band, sometimes it'll glide a little forward after it hits. It, right, right. If you freeze to it and you're not in the rings, but if you hit it, you will be. Jennifer hits this perfect. See if it glides forward to just that quarter inch, that half inch. to save the shooter. That wasn't Jennifer's best throw. No, no. and you can see just from the body language, the uh, shoulders a little uh, slumping. Jennifer Jones. Sorry, I just said it. It my fault. I didn't think it was going to be that bad. opportunity to blank by removing this one. Jennifer's going to have to take the single. Checking in again on Mike McEwen against the Thomas Ulsrud. McEwen got his uh, Two in the second, Ulsrud replied with a single in the third. Fourth now, final for McEwen, Kathy. Well, and Thomas Ulsrud made a brilliant angle double on his first. He's made some great hits, and other than the draw that we showed last end for his single point, he's really, really struggled to find draw weight. That allows Mike a chance for two, needs full eight foot. And again, I point out, he's only played over three events this year, so uh, hasn't had a lot of time on the ice. Final stone coming up for Jennifer Jones. There's the draw. There's the two more for McEwen. For a 4-1 lead going to the break. The hit stick top edge of the four. And Jones will have her single and go to the break. Down 7-3 on this second day of the World Financial Group Continental Cup. We are at the Mark and McPhail Center, Canada Olympic Park. The 2015 World Financial Group Continental Cup of Curling is brought to you by Ford, proud partner of the Canadian Curling Association for over 20 years. It was the key shot of the game so far, and uh, it came up at just the first end. Maria Pritz. Yes! Jennifer Jones, a little too aggressive without last rock, left this. And Pritz bangs it perfectly. And watch all those red go. Five on the board. Maria Pritz is with Kevin. Maria, what a great shot and a great way to start the game. Did you see it for five? Uh, yeah, when I when I went there to do it, I saw it for five. And uh, all the rocks were in the right position. So 
you just had to throw hard. <laughs> this is a team that you have played in some pretty big games against before. Yeah. Did it surprise you to get such a lead so early? Yes, it was a surprise because uh, we always play even games to them and it's not that common that we get that <laughs> start. But, uh, but we talked about it before the game that uh, this time we're going to go hard for the, for the first part of the game and maybe get some advantages. So many of your teams out here from Europe are struggling with the ice a little bit and yet you seem to be seeing it so clearly. Is that from your time playing in Canada, do you think? Yes, it's time playing in Canada and also going to the Worlds and being in, in um, a lot of competitions with this kind of ice. We love to play it and with, with a lot of curl and we like being here in Canada, so that's great. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. You know, and further to our storyline about the fact that they don't like to play a draw game, just look at the numbers when you talk about draw percentage. 64% for Sigurdsson compared to the 81 for Team Jones. But Jones, I don't know, you still go back, do you think they play too aggressively in that first, Cheryl? You know, without the hammer, I would say, but that is their style. That's the way they've chosen to play the first end of a lot of events that I see them at. The numbers after four are brought to you by M&M Meat Shops, frozen food at its best. The 2015 World Financial Group Continental Cup of Curling is brought to you by Scotty's Sponge Towels, Purex, and Cashmere. Proud to support the Scotty's Tournament of Hearts by Tim Hortons, official copy of the Canadian Curling Association, and by M&M Meat Shops, frozen food at its best. Let's update the game between Eve Muirhead and Val Sweeting. And Val playing much better today, sitting the four. They're all around the edges. Final rock to be played by Eve Muirhead, the bronze medalist from Sochi and world champion of uh, 2013. Muirhead with a uh, new lead this year in Sarah Reed, replacing uh, Claire Hamilton, who has uh, taken up cycling for Scotland and just recently won a uh, pursuit and hopes to go to the Olympics as a cyclist for Great Britain. Nice draw by Muirhead. They'll go to the break in a 2-2 tie. On this Friday morning, it's day two, the Continental Cup. It's team play and our featured game. Oh, yeah, if you're just tuning in, it's no... You may be shocked, but it's the truth. Margareta Sigfridsson from Sweden, part of Team World, or part of Team Europe scored five in that first now leading seven three as we welcome you back and it is Sigfridsson that does have the last rock she has the hammer here in the fifth playing the yellow stones we give the tick shot a try here try to keep it open for the skipper's last one very nice that shot's being come everybody's making them now and, and again I, I think it's we talked earlier about throwing the appropriate weight it's because the leads are throwing the right weight now they were all trying to make it with like a, a board weight situation yeah now they're mostly throwing back line to make it I don't know what you what is it what how could you say weagle in uh in Swedish. <laughs> that's, uh, that's Lisa's. Uh, Where are Lisa's you? Uh, tight. Halfway tight. Let it die. Well, I say everybody's now. making it. She makes Fine. them all the time. And, and you're right, Russ, it's yeah. that weight. It's it's deciding to throw just a back okay. line weight. You know your skip's paid to draw the forefoot, so you just have to throw the weight to get it off that forefoot strip and get it get it over to that eight footer like that one. And if you try to get it right to the board, the you're going you're to be too much error. Nice stone. Eller? Jag ser mycket minus till där. 
Vad heter det? Ja, det är lite bra. Ja! Nej! Backa det här den. Backa, backa. Nej! Maria Vennerström. Jam it. Leave the shooter out in front of the center line. Spills the raised rock over to cover the edge of the four. Not sure why they weren't brushing that. No, he didn't even call on it. Jen's happy with the way this ends mm. going with some rocks up front. It is Team Europe and Sigurdsson with the last rock here in five. Remember again, we only play eight. Get over curl, guys. Keep it going if you can. Whoa, whoa. Line straight. On the button. Got to finish it a bit, actually. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. That's been part of the difference I've yeah, seen go, in go, the go. eight and ten end games go, is and why a lot go, of teams go, go, don't go, go, play aggressive line. the first go, couple ends is because you don't have the time to come back in a ten end game. You get down two, three, even four points. You've got a lot of ends to come back and negotiate your points. All right, let's. That brings up a good point because I thought uh, Maria Pritz. That was a telling interview with it. Uh, she had with Kathy. We came out with a game plan. She said to be aggressive. It, she did, and uh, what I loved about that is they've watched the Jones team, and I think they just played their game against them. They've decided. We're not going to be defensive in the first end. They've watched Jones do it, and it worked perfectly. And not intimidated by the ice. That was the other thing, Russ. Well, the, the other th telling statement she made was, we've come here enough now. We've played in enough worlds. We've played in enough uh, C Canadian events that we're, you know, they're, they're getting better at it. And it, it's all confidence. You, you walk in here, you're playing the great Jennifer Jones. You're not used to swinging ice. It's too easy to play defensively, and Jennifer will eat you up. You have to put pressure on them, and it's work. Oh, no, no, it's got a curl. It's, it's pretty tight, yeah. Now, in the case of someone yeah. like Thomas Olsrud, oh, who's been struggling in his first two games, uh, oh, now oh, down against Mike McCune, I think it's just inactivity. He hasn't played in Absolutely, yeah, 22 games. Uh, he, he lost all five games at the last event he played in Canada, and he looks like he's going to go on two to start here. And you know they're better than that. They're the world champions, but it's... It's hard that that, that, that Olympic year, that, that uh, hangover from the Olympics, it, what do you do? do you, you've got all these demands, people, you know, left, right, and center, you're doing all these different events. Do you play a, an eight, nine week schedule or do you play a three week schedule? And it's funny, some of the Europeans have only played three events and some of the Canadians have played eight or nine. Stuffed it. Now, how far will it spill? The run back didn't work, it'll sit at the back edge of the eight. So Canada and Jones without last rock sitting the one. I mean that's the question mark too about uh, John Morris and the team as they prepare for first ever right here. Team Canada at the Tim Hortons Briar. They're hoping that this after a very limited schedule. You know, Carter Rycroft I think only played in one of the events. Will they in fact you know this will is part of their Tuna. As we take a look at the numbers for the two thirds, Christina Bertrup and Caitlin Laws, and both of them with games that they're not necessarily uh, with the show to the coach and go, hey, look at this. I think it's interesting that the game turned around right away for Canada with that five. Russ, she only played. One hit so far. It's all draws for Caitlin now. Yeah, well, we've been steady data draws now. No question about it. And uh, but uh, Cheryl said it best. It's, it's the wrong team to be down five on. It's uh, this European team makes a lot of hits. Player numbers are brought to you by Ford, proud partners with the CCA for 21 years. Or try to get there, make her run that. Then she might leave me a center. Right? Yeah. I think we come around now, don't you? Peeling is pretty straightforward out here. Yeah, either like leaving it, yeah, either there or hitting. Yeah, and you know what? Even if I if I rub that, well, it's not great. So. Gotta go there. Okay. What do you think? The problem for uh, Team Jones is that's pretty automatic, and that's where you want to put it to bury it. So 
But I have anything I'd like to overcurl, right? I think yeah. what they're hoping to do is try to get it cur to curl as far as possible, maybe even into that area if they can, and then that direct raise just might, just might go by it. Hard to get it into that spot where I put it. It's easier for me up here. Well, they have a lot of great options. Yeah, if it's a halfway yeah. guard, that's not I, a problem. Like but yeah. when you're playing around a top 12-foot rock. I don't think they can even do it. They might have to go the other turn, and then you're out in the carpet to get around that uh, tight, I think we need last. Corner. We gotta make good. it good. There's no sense in if I throw wide open, it's even less, Caitlin. Like wear a hat. Yeah. Be done. Some games the rocks just don't line up for you. You know, when Jennifer's rock in the first hand stopped, it was like whoops. And this is another situation. Like that, the way the red yellow's queued up, it's not a lot of good things can happen here. Well, and the difference too, when you're down, your shots have to be precise mm. compared to the other team. Gotta go. Picked her up right away, didn't they, Don McEwen? Jill Officer. Here come those guards as it swings down towards that center line. Here they come, trying to wrap this around. Drag it around, ladies. Come on. Bring it by. Bring it by. What a great brush. Brilliant shot. Good Well, there was no deal. She shaved that guard. Girl. They were on that right out of her hand. Great sweeping by these two. Credit to Caitlin, too. She knew immediately that the line was going to be tight. They brushed it a little deeper than they uh, wanted it, ideally, but uh, they had to. But they have forced Maria to play a draw here now. Kathy, let's uh, update people on McEwen and Ulsrud, and uh, McEwen leading 4-1, sitting 1-2. Is he? Yeah, oh, yeah, pardon me, you're right, I apologize. Goodness. Vic was wrong, Vic was Vic wrong. Vic was wrong. <laughs> wrong. Yeah, boy, it's been a bad couple of days, let me tell you. <laughs> Chance for Olsrud, is he going to look to uh, score a couple or just a single? Well, you know what, I think he's playing the very soft weight nose. Um, he has really struggled to put the broom in the right spot. The double is really tough to stick around. There's your one. And it is a, a single. Thank you. <laughs> 4-2. <laughs> McEwen leading and looking very good for the Canadian team. Wow, look at that. Very nice by Maria Pritz. Plays a nice soft draw corner freeze. Fabulous shot. She just wasn't making any of those yesterday and uh, hasn't thrown one in a while. No, that's more impressive. You're right. They're going to throw us out of this booth. That's right. This, but all we said she couldn't do it. <laughs> Line. Okay. Yeah, I call I'm it the right that weight. Same hay. That same weight. I think so, yeah. Let's go. I think it'll be a little slower here. If anything, I agree. A little slower, why, do you think? Just this, this slide path? Slide path, yeah. I think. This is to stay in the game, this one. Cannot Heavy. give up two. Back four. Line's good. Back Don't four. Wait, Caitlin. Back four. Stay close. No. No, 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 no. Stay with it. Just, Just back four. Close. No bounce. No, no bounce. bounce. No, no, no. no. Lock no it bounce. On. Line's great. Lock it on. Line's great. Lock it on. Hard line. Lock it, it on. How <laughs> nice is that? Great shot. Good shot. Right. Yeah, hair heavier there. I thought I was gave that a little bit more. Yeah. That was just a great, great team shot with the sweeping and the calling and the throwing. Jen knew it was a little bit heavy out of her hand and let the sweepers know. No panic out of the brushes coming over the hog line. You know, just beautiful. Interesting situation here. This this is queued up nicely to go that way. And yes, you will probably remove this one, but the way the yellow one sits with these particular stones, 
that yellow one will actually start to spin and it will go too far. So I think it's really dangerous to run that back. And she agrees. Down 7 2 starting this second day. But seeing a better performance certainly from Margaret Sigfridsson. Needing to put some points on the board. Keep it close for the first three days heading into those skins games on Sunday. Final stone needs a half of the button. Bertra. Vennerstrom. Half of the button. We know that she can hit. And we know that she can draw. Very happy coaches, Paya Lindholm, David Hay, 8-3, Sigfridsson. Do you crave more awesome TV? Crave TV has all you can watch for only $4 a month. For details, visit cravetv.ca. Skiing just outside the venue here, the Mark and McPhail Center. Let's check in on the... Your head in Sweeting and Val. Sweeting has a chance here. A couple around the edges. Double for three, maybe? Well, she does. There's a whole group of stones. Eve Muirhead hit them on the nose, and she scattered them, but neither of those red two went out, so those biters come into effect if Val can make the double. Come on! Whoa! 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 Come on! Oh, she stuffed it. And so Muirhead will pick up the steal of one, and for the first time in the game, take the lead 3-2. After five. So these are the different games we play in a Continental Cup. Team mixed doubles, singles, mixed skins, women's and men's skins. And we've only played so far for the nine points. And Canada has a 7-2 lead here on this Friday morning, day two. Europeans against the Canadians in this year's Continental Cup from Calgary. Well, Jennifer Jones, that uh, look will say a lot about how her game has gone so far. Giving up that five in the first. And so we'll take leave of that game. We'll go across to sheet C here at the Mark and McPhail Center. With Sigurdsson leading eight to three. We'll check in on the other women's game on the ice. That between Europe's Eve Muirhead out of Dunkeld in Scotland playing Val Sweeting. Representing Canada from the Savile Community Sports Centre in Edmonton. We showed you that update in the fifth. Sweeting had the double Two. for a possible three. Stuffed it. Gave up the steal of one. So here we are now in the sixth. Three. three two. Tight. Europe oh, yeah. and Not Muirhead and Sweeting will have the last rock playing the Redstones. This should be just... Val just right. hasn't been able to uh, convert in this game. They've been all over Muirhead. The three points that Muirhead scored is a that really tough draw to the button against two, a draw against four, that's the two points, and then the last end, Val stuffed that uh, double attempt, just a half an inch one way or the other. She scores three, breaks the game open. Now they're down one. Well, as long as Sweeting doesn't get frustrated with that, her chance will come. They're outplaying them. It's hard to ever. Yep, 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 yep. Hard, Anna. Hard, 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 hard. Good. Okay, get through. Kathy, you've been... Uh watching this game a little more closely. You know, it, it's a very interesting story. I would say that for the Muirhead team, it really has been Eve that has been sometimes fortunate, but has put the points on the board. In the Sweden case, it's almost like they're playing tense. And before the game, Randy Furby said that they really hope that Val wins this game, not because they're worried about Val you know, performing or doing well, but they are the team that's sitting in the locker room feeling like they haven't given their team a point. And in this rookie year, in this team concept, sometimes you can try just a little too hard. Well, that's the added yep. dynamic, Kathy. Uh, you you yep. bring it up. You're 
You look across, other teams are struggling. I mean, I'm sure Jennifer Jones feels the same way right now. She's here playing for herself, certainly, but she looks across at that Canadian bench and saying, I'm letting them down. It's, it's a different feeling, isn't it? It is. Play, that playing for the bigger team is such a, there's just an added amount of pressure playing for all of your teammates out there. And you got to learn how to try softer in Val's case and not try so hard out there. And you said it so well yesterday. I mean, the, the comparisons to this event and the, the Ryder Cup of golf or the, the President's Trophy, whatever they're playing for. When you're playing for the team, it's a different game. You can see the fear in Phil Mickelson's eyes that he's letting down Tiger Woods, for instance. It's it, it, it's just something they're not used to. And uh, in the case of Val, uh, there's a maple leaf on her back for the first time, too. And uh, that adds a, a lot of pressure all the time. Maybe it's what they do to them back in the locker room when it's all over. <laughs> <laughs> this lady has meant a lot, though, to... Uh, Val Sweeting since joining seven. her Let it move. mid uh, no, bond no, spiel season eight, last eight, year. I think we're there. there. Lori Olson Johns, who won a couple of Alberta titles with Kathy King, has come on to provide some uh, experience, some stability, lots of veteran knowledge. And that's led to a pretty good year for them. Excellent year, really. Number two on the tour in terms of money won close to just shy of seventy thousand dollars and of course before christmas winning the uh, canada cup in camrose and qualifying to be part of team canada here well you're right vic laurie's really fit into this team and i, I was lucky enough to play with her and her work ethic is incredible she will bring a lot to this team sh shot making wise as well as maturity wise clean oh. Good, Anna. Good, Anna. Good job. Nice. Good job. We have a farm. Always want rock behind the tee line when you're winning, but in this case, that, that that's close enough to the button that Val has to do something about it, as opposed to if that rolls out, they can go around those top yellows as corner guards. Same. No more. Eve's banking on if the freeze isn't perfect, she'll be able to peel it out of there. And then you may see Val use the near head rocks as corner guards for her. Stay close for line. Eight, nine, two, eight. Two, eight. Yep. Covered this sheet late last night, and uh, this protector spot was a little on the straight side. Stay close. Yep. Yep. Don't need to. Okay, room. Room if you're tapping. Room tapping for sure. And there is the bump. All right, 14 3. Neil tapping. Judge. Think nose. Yeah. We bit less. You could pick it clean and uh, or hit it on the nose. There. No. Similar de degree of difficulty, but on the Solid. nose gets you that much closer to the center. Okay. Number four on the tour this year. Yep. With money of about $47,000, Eve Muirhead. Clean. Yep. Whoa, whoa. Won a couple of finals, in, including the Canadian Open yeah. recently, before Christmas. What a career, though. Yeah. Four, four world juniors, <laughs> Olympic medal already, world champion. And just 24. Unreal. Yeah. That's, Thinking that you know we've just we've watched her grow up actually I mean, from those four world championships as you say and the juniors 07 08 09 2011. She, I believe she missed her last junior year to play in the Olympics. She did. And she uh, missed last uh, the defending world champion didn't play in the world last year as the defender because she could come off the Olympics right. Could be a few more titles on the resume. Yeah, went three and six in Vancouver. Yeah. Yeah. First game she yeah. participated in, and then uh, won the bronze medal in Sochi. No, we don't. We're fine. Well, and she's one of those European teams that you've seen uh, perfect both styles of game. Like she really, she can draw. She makes a oh, lot of draws. 
and you see that from her resume and so you know playing in Europe and you're usually throwing on ice that you're playing a lot of hits on she's really worked hard to come out over to Canada and get used to that draw and the ice that curls just straight peel I like keeping one of them in there okay Muirhead, final stone for the Scottish skip. Hit. Very nice pick. And now it'll be final stone for Val Sweeting and facing three. I don't know, but it's like a ten attempt. I'm just going to drop 12 for him. The defending Alberta champion yeah, has a couple more. of provincial Brand. titles to her credit. First was back in 2010. Back 12. Oh no. No line yet. No. Lost to Scotty's final last year to Rachel Stay Holman. Close, you guys. Stay close. There it goes. We're through. I know, but okay. we're okay. Stay close okay. for line. Okay. So. Should be on that yellow. Yeah, you need we're it. fine. Really good. Shot. Yeah, and fine they are for a single for Val Sweeting. Out of the Savile Center in Edmonton. It's time now for the m and Meat Shop's Final End Challenge. Right after the game, go to finalend.ca and enter the secret word for a chance to win an all-expense-paid trip for two to the 2016 Briar to be held in Ottawa. And that includes tickets, hotel, and airfare. The first 100 entries will have a chance to win a $50 M&M gift card, and all participants will get an M&M discount. Finalend.ca after the game, and after we give you the secret word. From here in Calgary, and day two coverage of the World Financial Group Continental Cup. Val Sweeting gets the single in six to tie it at three. As we go to the seventh, it will be Eve Muirhead. And Team Europe that has the last rock, they have the hammer playing the yellow stone. Looks like Muirhead's looking for the blank here. Uh, she went to the wings on her. That rock is called the half one, The game we started with. Jennifer Jones has come back with a single in six, but the Margaret is six in the leading still comfortably up 8-4. And Mike McEwen, after Thomas Olsrud got a single in five, they blank six. So McEwen has the lead, also has the last rock playing seven. It's not going to bump it out. That's okay, as long as we get it out. And watch that yellow, right on track, you can. Go, 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 go. Okay. That come good. around on the intern side for Val came so good, so tight to the guard, it ended up open and uh, was accessible okay. for Muirhead. Didn't get it out though. I don't know, I can't remember, Dana, sorry. Now it's all about for uh, Team Canada hitting and staying here and forcing that single. These are so Hi. much uh, Hi. harder Hi. than they look. They are. It, and that's, I did like the mirror head call. They Hi. were deep, yep. and Hi. Sweeting swept it, but they did, I think, well, oh. maybe not hung around in the back, it's but anyway. they were trying oh. to force the blank this end or at least get an opportunity yeah. at a blank by not playing around Ten that five. center Good guard. Yeah. Now there's a double. Peel. Pretty thick double, so it requires some speed. The uh, throne rock will lose a lot of speed when it hits a, a solid half or three quarters of the top rock. Clean. Yep. Whoa, whoa. I love playing this yeah. turn because the yellow whoa. rock yeah. that's coming down the ice will now spin. 
and give it more power to get that red one out of there. Beauty. Very nice shot by Vicky Adams. If you throw the other turn here, when this yellow one makes contact, it'll stick. It'll lose its rotation. It picks up rotation when you hit it on the high side. That allows a little more carry for that yellow rock to make that double beautiful. really goes Hard here. Hard for line. Hard. Hard, you guys. We're over curling. Can we go here? Now we can try. Uh, where, where is it? Might miss the yellow completely. Let's do it. Dana Ferguson. And look at that. Yeah, it's just a little rub, yes, but almost. The more we go out, the more it's coming across. There's a point. Eh? The more you go out, the more it's going to. Sounds like it just be a little higher on the outside. That's though. what we call dish dice, where there's uh, the pebble build up or the way they're scraping pattern, where maybe that's, I'm guessing, middle 12 foot edge of the eight, somewhere in there, uh, Cheryl, where they grabs that hill and makes the move. Yeah, it just comes off that hill and curls so hard, it's just about uncontrollable. The tricky thing with icing on ice like that is it will come off hard, maybe out in the middle of the 12 foot. But sometimes when you take ice into the middle of the like eight here. foot, that's where it's not curling yeah. as hard. So it can wear on the skip's brain a little bit. Inside the hill. Still want, force is good. Yeah, but we're in the cards. We don't. One more of these in cards. Sometimes yeah, the, uh, really I think the, uh, the teams that play in arena ice a lot, they have the big advantage of playing with the curl and understanding rotation, what it does to the rock, what it does to the speed. But they're sometimes spoiled a little bit where when you get a little bit of a tricky spot like this, uh, it can fool teams. Mine only two and a half. It's so important to play in every type of surface. Okay, just two and a half. Don't have to. Three the WFG. Okay, if you're a three, you're over curling. Just like, just to it. And I think further to play in on all those different types of surface, you also have to learn how to change your game plan for that surface. You can't maybe always play this aggressive style on club ice. It's just not always doable. Yep. Anna Sloan. Hey. Good, Anna. We've been teammates, friends. For years, Anna. Your double, Eve. we have to get quite thick. So uh, that <laughs> now the addition of Sarah Reed at the lead guard. position. These girls like guard. Sarah okay. actually skipped the World Junior Championship team for Scotland in 2007. Muirhead, Eve played third for her. So they've uh, known each other, grown up in the game together. Hair less. Great combination. Ooh, little higher. Those relationships yeah, are pretty nice. special, and yep. when you find something, somebody like that right. that you work so well with, you you Hard really can build on it and get some great curling Hard. out of each other. One more peel for Muirhead. Yeah, I don't know if we yeah. do that. Too. Might make a move on the next one. I see Sweden freeze down on this next one. Mm -hmm. Good job. Well, do you think, do you think she will? Because then she's still here, and I'm yeah. here. If I guard. Yep. But if I come in and don't make it, then we only have one shot to get out of it. Yeah. We don't want to blank. No. I like the guard then. Because right? even on my last one. On time. Yeah. Well, I think we would probably yeah. freeze in here. Because even if we're there. Yeah, I think we are. For Val Sweeting, what's the, what's the attempt here? What is she trying to do? She's trying to force? She's trying to force. So that's why she's looking at throwing the guard. She, she thinks with the angles for the freeze aren't very good. So by throwing the guard. Like Muirhead could get rid of everything and then the blank would come into play, so throwing the guard doesn't allow that. 
Yeah, the guard has to be good, though, because I think you'll see Eve, uh, once this guard goes up, there's very little chance of a blank. So you might, if Eve is going to be forced, she wants to be forced to two. So she might play a come around and tap that a little bit or just freeze to it. Anyway. Interesting situation. Three, three. In a 3-3 three, three tie. Mine's good. Mine's good. You're going to have to bring it to the line. Got a three. You got to finish it. it. You Line's finish close it. if you're a three. We're a three. We're a three. Go, go. If you're just joining us yes, for the first yes. time, Continental Cup play, we Hard. don't play extra end. Hard. So if the game were to end in a tie, we would just split the single point, each team taking a half point. I think you have more chance of doing it that way, though, do you not think? Well, I just think that way. Like, that that way, we're waiting, 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 it's going to come off this. Mm -hmm. Because that way, we're like, we can sweep it. In like, turn. In, yeah. yeah. Try and bump it and try and yeah. get as much that way as we can. Well, I tell you, we talked you earlier, course. Kathy, about Thomas Olsrud, his lack of time on the ice, and it's shown, I think, here. Uh, Mike McEwen, though, not to take anything away, is playing so well and has a chance here for four. Well, he does, but Mike made a ridiculous double. Uh, Thomas Ulstrew tapped a stone frozen. Uh, Mike had to get by a guard and make the double, and he did. So, you know, in all defense of Thomas Ulstrew, I think he made as good as a shot as he could have last one, and it's not good enough against Mike McEwen, not this year. And you don't need to be greedy. He'll uh, just settle for his three. Magic Mike. 7-2. Just like back eight. Just back eight ish. Up there. Three choices for Eve here. You can peel a guard and uh, keep it kind of open for your last one, but then you might get forced. The blank is definitely gone. So I think she's decided if we're not blanking, we're going to try to get two here. She's going to tap that back and playing the swingier turn here because we know that intern will sink in there if she has the right weight. Other option would be just draw a top four or be shot rock in front of the T-line where Bell can't freeze to it. You're right, because that is the concern by playing back to this, that mm. if the valves out is the freeze. Freeze, freeze, and you're in trouble. So. We started with this game, of course, Kathy, and that five really turned it around upside down in that first for Siegfriedson. And it appears Jennifer Jones is sitting the two just to draw for a single. Well, it is. For Jennifer, it was not able to get anything in the center of the ice to bury around, but they did a good job of utilizing that corner, Jen bearing on her last one. But really, all she needs is a piece of the eight. Boy, look at that. Muirhead taps it back, rolls over, sits right on the corner of her own stone. And it will stop at the back of the eighth. <laughs> Caitlin Laws. We didn't see that, Caitlin. <laughs> Single makes it 9 4 for Europe. <laughs> Brilliant shot by uh, Eve. It, I like the turn she threw because by making it that way, it was the swinger side, which was easier. It wasn't optically easier, but it was easier to make. And look where she rolled. There's no pocket now for Canada. Everyone here barely got to center. Oh, and that speaks like, to how great this ice is. To be able to throw back line weight and curl behind nice. a this tight spot. guard. So the way it sits right now, McEwen is up. There's a point for Canada. Sigfordson is up. That's a point for Europe. And right now we are splitting one point. On this Friday morning, day two of the Continental Cup. Either the straight come around or the freeze, but the freeze better be good. Tapping, they tapping say. Sure. Okay, needs to Brown, Close. Dana no. Ferguson. No, 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 no. no. needs to no. finish. Okay. Walk close. Whoa, whoa. 
Whoa! Just back eight. Whoa! Get over. Right off. Curl. Right off. Curl. Curl. And Curl. look at it come up to the out. nose. Wow. Beauty. They waited for the longest time. It took forever. Like, <laughs> oh. Great shot. Fire. Remember, that's a lefty throwing so. that. That's the out turn. So. It's not going to react like Eves. It just curled in time. It actually left on that angle the out today. You can just come, just draw to here and just touch it. <laughs> yeah, I think you've got to. I think so. Like, just touch it. Yeah, I think we've got to go for one. Because if we give up one, it's not a big deal. And if we can, just touch it. Yeah. Give up when it's not my big. That's what I'm saying, Eve. What? Do we want to give up one? Similar to your last Eve. Oh. Is it not better? Is it better for us to give it up? Oh. We want something to go for. Well, then a cake one. You know what I mean? What do you think? I don't know. How much can you see in there? No, you can't see that. No, I'm just thinking because we don't mind giving up one. So could we go for it as tight past that guard as possible? Yeah, but what if I do that and hit my shoot and that spills and we've got that? I was just thinking that's always going to be similar to your no, last. No. So you think just give up one? Yeah? Give up I'm one. Just thinking. Yeah. I don't think it's worth trying to hit something in case you spill your two yellows out. You'd rather go one down Wait, with. We can go. I think we can go like. Back, you just need to bump this literally at an inch. Yeah. I wonder what the coaches would <laughs> say. Yeah, no, it's really good. Good, yeah. Good, yeah. Good, yeah. Good, yeah. Not quite as much as that. It's an interesting thought here. I mean, we've seen people do it in skins play to hold the hammer uh, when there's money on the line. But what is your thought, Cheryl? Did, would you play oh, quietly one, trying to move it to get a deuce? More. Well, you would know what the stats are for your team, whether you're one down with or one up without, and what your winning percentage is, and that is basically what, how it allows you to call this end. And I'd rather be one up, but it's a little different here because the, the tie the comes tie, into play. Yes. So I think what Anna's saying is, uh, let's give them one, get our deuce, and win the game because they need point. A tie doesn't really help the European squad right now. I think if Eve perfect here, if she slivers the inside of that, she can score too. Just touch it. Final stone. Just has to touch the red over. Oh, she doesn't. She'll roll the shooter in, sit on the lid. It's one for Muirhead, one for the Europeans in seven. They'll take the lead. Now Sweeting will have that all-important last rock coming home. Well, it's time now for the M&M Meat Shop's final end challenge. And the secret word is ice. So right after the game, go to finalend.ca and enter that secret word ice for a chance to win a trip for two to the 2016 Briar in Ottawa. Well, this uh, is definitely a hog line violation. Uh, Jill Officer with a little help from Margareta Sigurdsson right to the pin to end it as uh, the game we started with. Sigurdsson and Team Europe win it, make the final 9-4 over Jones, and that's a big single point now added to the European total. And Mike McHugh in all smiles, why not? He's just... The best in the country right now, maybe the best in the world right now, with a 7-2 win over Thomas Oldsroom. And so each uh, Europe, Canada, each picking up a point. 8-3 now in the race to 30 and a half to win this year's World Financial Group Continental Cup, leaving just one game on the ice. And Team Europe and Eve Muirhead taking that single in seven to take a 4-3 lead. Val Sweeting will have the last rock. She has the hammer playing the Redstones coming home here in eight. It is, but then we're getting a little okay. messy. I like okay. this. And Val's decided to hit it. She's afraid to be a little messy, as she put it, but to freeze in the uh, between those two would be a really good call. 
how does he get it out of there? And you only need one error to get your two. This might leave a red double if it's not perfect. Rochelle Brown. Nine seven. Yep. And that leaves a pocket now for True. Eve to. She's trying to steal this okay, in. Eighteen on Sadas. I think it's one down top. Look, eighteen on Sadas. I think like nine. Thank you for me. does not help you the way the score is, so Eve's going to try everything she can to uh, steal one here. No, I don't disagree with you, I, 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 but a half point is better than no point. Yeah, uh, great point. Okay. I mean, I think they just, they would be happier just to get something. Vicki Adams did a little double duty yesterday with Maria Vennerstrom. Hill or uh, Margaret Sigurdsson's team filled in at the second yeah. spot, so she's playing a little bit more than everyone else. Extra game. Just through. Back 12. And that's probably that Val's thought process with hitting is she doesn't want to get it too messy. She at least wants to get her one get her for single. the split. Okay, okay. I like it. Should we throw back line? Because if we chisel the guard, that's not terrible. Okay. Yeah, this spot together. yesterday was extremely straight. Okay. Tough to get to the nose here. Even though it's a long guard, it's tough. This is Dana's out turn too, so yeah. maybe we'll run a little straighter. We come I want to pump higher? this onto the shot rock. Well, okay. not going She'll bump it right back. Okay, okay. that's okay. Shot that's stone flash. belongs to your head in Europe. Was just throwing the danger rock for Eve. I think so. Love to be As able to get call. to the inside, but we just talked about how tough that is yeah, on this spot. I think, we need to do think that. so. Yeah. Well, could you come with the other turn? Like right coming the other uh, way. Yeah. Yeah. Is it not possible to get there with to, to freeze to it, but not to tap it out? Okay. Yes. But that's a good call, Vic. This Twasey's been right. And he's doing. And they're doing it. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I know. 86, he was right once, too. Okay, you're okay for line. Line's good. Wait, you never oh, overcurl this and tap that red back a hair would be nice. It's pretty hidden. You gotta be here. Straight up. Straight up. Hard. Come on for weight. Go, go, go. Good, mate. Hard! Go, 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 Running it straight back. No. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, roll the shooter. Roll the shooter. Run it back. Oh. And oh, she's going to catch the uh, Canadian stone on the way by. Not bad for what reason? Yeah, that red, red one was uh, protected for the chop rock for Eve Muirhead. This is not bad at all to run that red one. Now that you can clean out that chop rock quite easy. They do roll the shooter away, so it's uh, covering the uh, eight foot. Anna Sloan. Line only, wait, not bad. Just you said Eve did a brilliant thing, I thought, by sweeping that last yellow one, just enough that it looks like it's taken away that red slash there. It staggered them a little bit. Just enough, I think. Still guarding for her life, though. Line's perfect. Good. Good I'm not sure that red one. I don't think that red one would carry him off the yellow, and it looks like it would miss the shot rock. Yes! 
Lori Olson Johns. Ferguson and Brown didn't waste any time, did they? Run it back. Oh, and she gets the moving, gets the shot rock off the button. Shot Stone now is sweeting at Canada, just nibbling the top edge of the four. Real nice shot. That red one that Eve's concerned about is the problem rock for uh, your head. Oh. No, I think we just keep running. Just Go moves body, that Art. stone enough that okay. leaves Canada sitting the one. Drawing to the button doesn't really help them with this red one in play. Just because it could be slashed yeah, back. Yeah, so back. easily. Where okay. you, there's nowhere you can hide. Small little port here. Here, gotta get through the hole first. Through the hole first. No. Okay, okay. It's okay. He did give it a yeah. like ripping couple the of licks early, and I'm not sure if that would have held it up. But. A couple of missed shots there first yesterday. Shot. That's it, they, it, it, they it's hard home. to tell from up here with a lot of uh, straight three. shots on that intern side coming home. We can do this in lay two. I kind of like that. Yeah. Right, we don't have. Yeah. Let's do that. Yeah, let's that do looks that. like a good shot. <laughs> the guard's the only thing helping them. They make a hit and roll. Cut away, Val. 10 5. Air 10. Yeah, you gotta 10, go. 5. 10. You gotta go. You gotta go, she says. 10 5. Lori Olson Johns. Whoa. Whoa. Made a Blaise very nice. <laughs> Shot with her first, and here. That's good. Good job, guys. You shot really good sweep. You can do it right to the right to the hole. Just bad at that time. Okay, sure. You have to like Candace's chances with that red one at the top of the eight foot. Is there any place you can go here, be the shot okay, stone, and not yeah. be... Angled Ooh, back? Nice. Yeah, I think directly behind that red one, because you can't hit the red one dead on. We bit so more. roll right over. Yeah. Just to the right side of the button would work, Vic. Seems to be straightening out, though. They, they overswept uh, Lori's there, and they, uh, Anna's tracked a little bit. And that might just be happening oh. through the week here now. As the rocks get worn down, they start to straighten a little bit. Whoa! Okay. okay. Three in a row that have uh, run a hair straighter. We have to roll here. Okay. Yeah. Just a hair, yeah. Yeah, edge, edge. Uh. Hey, uh, Lindholm, David oh, Hay. Okay. I've already right seen there. Europe pick up five. one okay. point. Lori's was 9-5. Okay. Leading in this one. Rick Lang. Coach ten for five, down. Team oh, Canada. Okay. I think it's a 10. Please. Close. Whoa. Close. Whoa. No, no, no. It's not down. We want to roll like two inches. There's that roll for two inches, and they're inside. Uh, decided that she wants the full point. She's going to play this way, try to okay. hit and roll in here somewhere and try to steal. But the problem with that is you're there. It's such an easy shot for Val to make that shot for the two to win. I thought Eve might take a long look at throwing a bullet down here and playing the triple. This is really skinny. It's there, though. It's there. I know what it was mother called, but it looks pretty skinny. If you get the hit and roll, you're absolutely perfect. Right, okay. Yeah, hit and roll. Hit and roll? 
I think the triple is actually easier, even though it's thin. It's just all about hitting it in the same spot. And like we, we saw. We don't have a lot of time. It's fine. The triple is there, eh? It is there. Yeah, let's go for it. Yeah? Yeah, they're going for the triple now. I think so. They're we've got to be spot on. It's tough, thin, about an inch, inch and a quarter. No, actually, no. It'll not do much here. Really straight Leave spot. Leave it less. Jennifer Jones in the seventh end. Yep. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yep. Final whoa. stone. Yep, yep. Review ahead. Now they got it. Reed. Adam Sloan calling line. One, two, and get them all moving. Oh. One more. Oh. Incredible shot. Laurie Olson, John saying, nice shot, indeed. Presence of mind to make the change at the far end and regroup and have that thought process of what's it going to do here. I'm going to throw peels to straight spot. Beautiful. It typically doesn't work out either no, when you make no. the change from the, the call from well, the other Well, the other end. thing, sorry to interrupt you, but the other thing was she was down to her last 40 seconds, so she had 35 when she uh, crossed the T-line. Mine's good. So this is a draw. Mine's good. Full there, guys. eight foot Mine's real for good, the bro. single Not to curling. tie and split the points. They haven't laid a brush okay. to it. Not curling now. Mine's good. 14-2. It's really close. What a way to finish it up. Great shots. Both teams. Single point for Sweeting in Canada. And it means it will end in a 4-4 tie. And a 2 will split the point. A half point for Team Canada. A half point for Team Europe. Mike McEwen picked up a big win over Thomas Olsrud. And so it's a five-point lead. Canada leading Europe after team play on a Friday morning from Calgary. The 2015 World Financial Group Continental Cup of Curling is brought to you by World Financial Group, helping Canadians have better financial futures. The 2015 World Financial Group Continental Cup of Curling is brought to you by Tim Hortons, official coffee of the Canadian Curling Association. By Ford, proud partner of the Canadian Curling Association for over 20 years. And by Home Hardware, homeowners helping homeowners with expert advice. Day two of the World Financial Group Continental Cup and we began the day with uh, Margareta Siegfriedson against Jennifer Jones, a rematch of the gold medal game from Sochi last February. Maria Prince in the first, throwing the fourth stones, makes this a brilliant shot to get five. They were lined up for her. Maybe, uh, as Cheryl and Russ said, Jennifer Jones got into a messy situation without last rock. Put five on the board, and then Prince again with a great deuce. To score two more and three as she rolls to a 9-4 win over Jennifer Jones. Just a reminder, of course, our day will continue with the singles at 3.30 Eastern time. We'll have more team games for you tonight at 8.30. Canada continues to lead it 8.5 to 3.5 in the race to 30 and a half points to win this year's Continental Cup. An exciting way to start the second day. Singles are coming up when we join you again at 3.30 Eastern Time. So till then, thank you for joining us here in Calgary. The Continental Cup is on Canada's sports leader, TSN.